So we're going to be discussing meta descriptions. So though meta descriptions don't actually affect your rank directly, it has a big effect on user click-through rates. And what this means is when people land or when people see your website somewhere, how many of them will actually click through onto it? Based on how accurate your meta descriptions are, it does have an indirect impact on the search engine results. So for example here, you can see that you've got this text underneath, which is the meta description. And whether you intentionally read it or not, subconsciously, if you're looking at this link, your brain's automatically going to scan through the text and decide whether or not that this is something valid. And so I'm sure you can imagine that if only one person of 10 people click on this, and if you're able to change your meta description and increase that number from two out of 10 people to click on it, when this website gets scale, it will have a huge impact on how many visitors are actually coming and clicking onto your website. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you one of the fastest and easiest ways to create meta descriptions for pages individually. So let's take my website over here, stabmedia.com, and let's say I wanna edit the meta description of this. I'm gonna go over to Scale Sleek, and I'm just gonna hit boom and enter my page. So you can see it'll take one to two minutes, and we can just track the time it takes. And while we wait, pro tip, I would advise updating meta descriptions and definitely testing out different things. So you could update them on like a monthly to six week basis and try out new things, uh, get a bit creative, try test them. And make sure to always include a keyword and your key service or key product. So our audit has been generated. It will automatically put you on the header section. If we scroll down, you can see, boom, meta description. So it gives us five pretty solid options for meta descriptions pick one that you identify as the most relevant i tend to find that the top one is the most relevant sometimes you know the first two are pretty good but generally they're all pretty solid um, i'll usually just go with the top one and then interchange them so if you have a website builder um, you'll be able to identify where to put this in pretty easily um, it will sort of direct you and show you where to go if you've had someone build your website for you then you can just send them this document. Uh, you can press the share button and send it to them and they'll know how to do this. It's fairly straightforward. So it's important to audit pages individually. Um, all the information is gonna be different. So if we're on our blog page now and we wanna create a meta description for this page, I'm simply gonna do the same thing, but you can see this is now for the blog page. I just copy and pasted the URL. And I'm gonna press level up my SEO. And now we're just gonna repeat that process the exact same. I'll wait for the blog audit to load and then I'll go onto this one and I'll copy and paste the meta description. So that's all you have to do. It's super easy, super straightforward to do it this way. Not only that, but the meta descriptions do rank.